Greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome back for one of these uh, videos on YouTube. And this particular one I would like to address to parents, particularly those first-time parents. And I want to speak to you not simply as a pastor, but also as a parent myself. One of the things that you'll notice very quickly about being a parent is your life is never going to be the same again. You're always going to be doing things with your children, for your children. And along the way, you're going to be helping your child or children grow and develop through all the different stages of life, from their infancy, through their childhood, into adolescence, and then into adulthood. One of the things that I want to share with you, though, is that the single most important thing you can do for your child is to help nurture them in Christian faith, to help develop that loving relationship with God our Heavenly Father who loves us and who has created us in His image. It's not going to take very long for us to get busy in the course of our lives. And that will be true as parents, as we get busy tending to our children's needs and as they grow up, as they start engaging in different activities. There will be things vying for our time. We'll be encouraging children to explore their interests. And soon you'll find yourself running your children to soccer practice or violin practice. You may be taking your son or daughter to gymnastics and along the way you'll be looking for those moments to squeeze into a fast food lane, grab a meal on the go, get through practice, come home, help with the homework that yet awaits to be done, and then go to bed only to find yourself going through this all again the next day. There's the pressure that will be on your children to be their very best, especially as they become teenagers and as they start looking and exploring those options for colleges or post high school education, where the focus is on being the most well-rounded individual that he or she can be. The danger in all this is that our relationship with God can take a backseat. So what are some of the things that you can do as a parent to help nurture your child in Christian faith with the single most important relationship that we have in life. Allow me to share some of these tips with you. First of all, start with prayer. On those nights when your baby has woken you up at three in the morning for feeding, or something has spooked them, a nightmare or a dream where they just simply need to be held and comforted. Say a prayer with your child. It doesn't have to be a fancy prayer. Share a simple Bible verse or perhaps a song. One of the most famous songs through all of Christianity is Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Maybe you believe in God, but you don't have any connection with the church. Well, ask your friends what churches they go to. Ask them if they have resources available that they can share with you to help develop this relationship. If you're in the area and you're watching this near Latrobe, Pennsylvania, stop one in at St. Paul here, where we have Sunday school for children of various ages, and where we also have Sunday school classes for you to attend as well as a parent. We have children's Bibles. Feel free to take one to read stories of Christian faith to your children. And then as they get older, as they grow, 
invite them to read those stories to you. For in doing so, not only are you encouraging their development as a child of God, but you are also helping them with one of the most important skills in life that anyone can have, the ability to read. As your child grows, ask them what the highs and lows of their day are. What was the best thing that happened to you today? And in prayer, give thanks to God for that good thing. When sharing the lows, pray for a forgiveness. If you or your child has done something wrong, pray for help in terms of trying to figure out a resolution to a problem that has your child discouraged. Also, Go to church with your children. Yes, I said with your children. Don't worry about whether they will make a fuss. Don't whether worry about whether or not they'll say something that draws attention to yourself. Many churches love to hear the interaction of children and are blessed to see the childlike faith emerge. Many churches also have an activity bag that is available for you, filled with quiet activities that your child can do while the service is ongoing, where they can hear what is being said and yet quietly color. As a younger, as younger children grow, One of the things that they are going to observe by being in church is they're going to observe who is there. They'll see peers, they'll see children a little older than themselves, and that too will be an important teaching because it sets an expectation and a pattern that this is a place not only to be, but where you want to be, especially when they see friends, when they develop those friendships with people in their church, in their congregation. If your church has a Sunday school, and here at St. Paul we do as well, like I said, not only bring them to Sunday school, but stay with them and go to a Sunday school class yourself. That way you are growing in your own relationship, in your own faith with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Why do all these things? Because you are investing in the life and in a relationship with God. You are not only investing in that relationship with God, you are investing it together as a family. You are investing in God who has invested the very greatest gift of all for you, that being Jesus Christ our Lord and our Savior. You see, God's love was extended to you in great depth. So deeply is God's love for you that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to come into this world, to die for our sins, to save and redeem us by rising from the dead. In that resurrection, There is hope, there is promise, there is a new family of which you and I become a part. It is that family of God, a family that indeed is far greater and expands. And we see a mini picture of that in the life of each congregation. For each congregation, is a mini picture, is a picture of the greater family, if you will, that awaits to us when we see our brothers and sisters in Christ in the glory of heaven. Invest in the one who has invested himself in you, Jesus Christ our Lord.